Hi everyone, and welcome back to Reading for Fluency. Today we are going to do chapter 28 in the book Holes. Are you ready? I am. I want to find out what happens to Kate Barlow. Ooh, it's exciting. Here we go. Now remember, think about how the people are feeling because that changes how we say what they're saying. Here we go. After 20 years, Kate Barlow returned to Green Lake. It was a place where nobody would ever find her. A ghost town on a ghost lake. The peach trees had all died, but there were a couple of small oak trees still growing by an old abandoned cabin. The cabin used to be on the eastern shore of the lake. Now the edge of the lake was over five miles away, and it was little more than a small pond full of dirty water. Ugh. She lived in the cabin. Sometimes she could hear Sam's voice echoing across the emptiness. Onions, sweet, fresh onions. She knew she was crazy. She knew she'd been crazy for the last 20 years. Oh, Sam, she would say, speaking into the vast emptiness. I know it's hot, but I feel so very cold. My hands are cold. My feet are cold. My face is cold. My heart is cold. That's so sad. So we know that. She's saying this in a sad way. We must say it sadly, slowly. Let's read this back for fluency. Here we go. After 20 years, Kate Barlow returned to Green Lake. It was a place where nobody would ever find her. A ghost town on a ghost lake. The peach trees had all dried. <laughs> New Mike, still making mistakes. Let's do it again. The peach trees had all died, but there were a couple of small oak trees still growing by an old abandoned cabin. The cabin used to be on the eastern shore of the lake. Now the edge of the lake was over five miles away, and it was little more than a small pond full of dirty water. She lived in the cabin. Sometimes she could hear Sam's voice echoing across the emptiness. Onions! Sweet, fresh onions! She knew she was crazy. She knew she'd been crazy for the last 20 years. Oh, Sam, she would say, speaking into the vast emptiness. I know it's hot, but I feel so very cold. My hands are cold. My feet are cold. My face is cold. My heart is cold. Oh, emotion. <laughs> but really, though, that's one of the easiest ways to sound fluent is to show the emotion of what you're saying when you say it. Let's go to the next page. And sometimes she would hear him say, I can fix that. And she'd feel his warm arm across her shoulders, shoulders. She'd been living in the cabin for about, no, there's no four. <laughs> she'd been living in the cabin about three months when she was awakened one morning by someone kicking open the cabin door. Hmm. She opened her eyes to see the blurry, blurry end of a rifle, hmm. two inches from her nose. She could smell Trout Walker's dirty feet. Ah, there he is. You've got exactly 10 seconds to tell me where you've hidden your loot said Trout, or else I'll blow your head off. She yawned. How cool is that, right? <laughs> Gonna shoot you. <sighs> A red-headed woman was there with Trout. Red-headed. Ooh, red-headed. Kate could see her rummaging, jing. Remember, the G in the middle usually sounds like a J. Rummaging through the cabin, dumping drawers and knocking things from the shelves of the cab there's no the of cabinets. It's a good thing to read through once. <laughs> the woman came to her, where is it? She demanded, where is it? Linda Miller? Question mark. Linda Miller? 
up sound, right? Linda Miller? Hmm. Asked Kate, is that you? Linda Miller had been in the fourth grade when Kate Barlow was still a teacher. She had been a cute, freckle-faced faced girl with beautiful red hair. Now her face was blotchy, bleh, blotchy, and her hair was dirty and scraggly. Ugh, sounds like ugly words, right? So they sound ugly when we say them. It's Linda Walker. Ooh, it's Linda Walker now, said Trout. Oh, Linda, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Kate has jokes. <laughs> Why would she marry Dirty Feet Trout Walker? Ugh. Trout jabbed her throat with the rifle. Where's the loot? There is no loot, said Kate. Don't give me that, shouted Trout. Ooh, shouted. Don't give me that, shouted Trout. You've robbed every bank from here to Houston. You better tell him, said Linda. We're desperate. Mmm, desperate. You better tell him we're desperate. See, I got that crazy look. Desperate. <laughs> you married him for his money, didn't you? Asked Kate. Oh, she got jokes again. Linda nodded. But it's all gone. It dried up with the lake. So remember, Linda is desperate. So everything she says is going to sound desperate. It dried up with the lake. <gasps> okay, let's read this back for fluency. And sometimes she would hear him say, I can fix that. And she'd feel his warm arm across her shoulders. She'd been living in the cabin for about three. There's no four. I did it again. <laughs> She'd been living in the cabin about three months when she was awakened one morning by someone kicking open the cabin door. She opened her eyes to see the blurry end of a rifle two inches from her nose. She could smell Trout Walker's dirty feet. You've got exactly ten seconds to tell me where you've hidden your loot, said Trout, or else I'll blow your head off. She yawned. A red-headed woman was there with Trout. Kate could see her rummaging through the cabin, dumping drawers and knocking things from shelves of cabinets. The woman came to her. Where is it? she demanded. Linda Miller? asked Kate. Is that you? Linda Miller had been in the fourth grade when Kate Barlow was still a teacher. She had been a cute, freckle-faced girl with beautiful red hair. Now her face was blotchy and her hair was dirty and scraggly. It's Linda Walker now, said Trout. Oh, Linda, I'm so sorry, said Kate. Trout jabbed her throat with the rifle. Where's the loot? There is no loot, said Kate. Don't give me that, shouted Trout. You've robbed every bank from here to Houston. You better tell him, said Linda. We're desperate. <laughs> you married him for his money, didn't you? Asked Kate. Linda nodded. But it's all gone. It dried up with the lake. Okay. It's kind of fun. The peach trees, the livestock. I kept thinking, it has to rain soon. The drought can't last forever. But it just kept getting hotter and hotter and hotter. Her eyes fixed on the shovel, which was leaning up against the fireplace. She's buried it, she declared. Oh, this is still Linda talking, so we have to say this like we're desperate, right? I don't know what you're talking about, said Kate. There was a loud blast as Trout fired his rifle just above her head. The window behind her shattered, shattered. Where's it buried, buried, he demanded. Go ahead and kill me, Trout, said Kate. But I sure hope you like to dig, because you're going to be digging for a long time. It's a big, vast wasteland out there. You and your children and their children can dig for the next hundred years, and you'll never find it. Dun, dun, dun. Linda grabbed Kate's hair and jerked her head back. Oh, we're not going to kill you, she said. Bye. Bleh. <laughs> but... By the time we're finished with you, you're going to wish you were dead. Right? Angry. Crazy girl. 
I've been wishing I was dead for the last twenty years, said Kate. Hmm, that's sad. They dragged her out of bed and pushed her outside. She wore blue silk pajamas. Her turquoise, turquoise studded black boots remained beside her bed. They loosely tied her legs together so she could walk, but she couldn't run. They made her walk barefoot on the hot ground. They wouldn't let her stop walking. Not until you take us to the loot," said Trout. Linda hit Kate on the back of her legs with the shovel. Oh, you're going to take us to it sooner or later, so you might as well make it sooner. Wow, these people are desperate and crazy. So we have to read it that way. And Kate just doesn't seem to want to live anymore. So she's really <sighs> apathetic. She's ugh. Whatever you know, that kind of sound like a teenager. Ugh, whatever. <laughs> Let's read it back. The peach trees, the oh wait, which is crazy, Linda, right? The peach trees, the livestock. I kept thinking it has to rain soon. The drought can't last forever. But it just kept getting hotter and hotter and hotter. Her eyes fixed on the shovel, which was leaning up against the fireplace. She's buried it. She declared, "I hurt my throat." I don't know what you're talking about," said Kate. There was a loud blast as the trout fired the rifle just above her head. The window behind her shattered. "Where's it buried?" he demanded. "Go ahead and kill me, trout," said Kate. "But I sure hope you like digging, 'cause you're going to be digging for a long time. It's a big, vast wasteland out there. You and your children and their children can dig for the next hundred years, and you'll never find it. Linda grabbed Kate's hair and jerked her head back. Oh, we're not going to kill you, she said. But by the time we're finished with you, you're going to wish you were dead. <laughs> I've been wishing I was dead for the last twenty years, said Kate. They dragged her out of bed and pushed her outside. She wore blue silk pajamas. Her turquoise-studded black boots remained beside her bed. They loosely tied her legs together so she could walk, but she couldn't run. They made her walk barefoot on the hot ground. They wouldn't let her stop walking. Not until you oh, it's Trout. <laughs> Not until you take us to the loot," said Trout. Linda hit Kate on the back of her legs with the shovel. "You're going to take it to us. Wow. You're going to take us to it. <laughs> I can't say this one. Hang on." <laughs> You're going to take us to it sooner or later, so you might as well make it sooner. I had a hard time with that one. Wow! Right? It happens. It's fun to read. Here we go. Last page. She walked one way, then the other, until her feet were black and blistered. Blistered. Whenever she stopped, Linda whacked, whacked her with the shovel. I'm losing my patience, patience, patience," warned Trout. She felt the shovel jab into her back, and she fell onto hard dirt. "Get up," ordered Linda. Kate struggled to her feet. "We're being easy on you today," said Trout. "Just it's just going to keep getting worse and worse for you until you take us to it." "Look out!" shouted Linda. A lizard leaped. Ooh, that's hard. Lizard leaped.、Mm. A lizard leaped toward them. Kate could see its big red eyes. Linda tried to hit it with the shovel, and Trout shot at it, but they both missed. The lizard landed. Ooh, there it is again. Lizard landed. The lizard landed on Kate's bare ankle. Its sharp black teeth bit into her leg. Its white Tongue lapped up the droplets of blood that leaked out of the wound. W -w wound. Get that shape right. W's have a shape. The wound. Kate smiled. There was nothing they could do to her anymore. Start digging, she said. <laughs> Such a boss. Where is it? Linda screeched. Where'd you bury it? Trout demanded. Kate Barlow died laughing. Oh, <laughs> she went out so cool, right? That's a cool way. If you're gonna die, 
and you're being like kidnapped or something. That's pretty cool. That's bad though. Here we go. Let's read it back for fluency. I'm gonna try. She walked one way, then the other, until her feet were black and blistered. Whenever she stopped, Linda whacked her with the shovel. I'm losing my patience, warned Trout. She felt the shovel jab into her back, and she fell onto hard dirt. Get up, ordered Linda. Kate struggled to her feet. We're being easy on you today, said Trout. It's just going to keep getting worse and worse for you until you take us to it. Look out, shouted Linda. A lizard leaped toward them. Kate could see its big red eyes. Linda tried to hit it with the shovel, and Trout shot at it, but they both missed. The lizard landed on Kate's bare ankle. Its sharp black teeth bit into her leg. Its white tongue lapped up the droplets of blood that leaked out of the wound. <sighs> Kate smiled. There was nothing they could do to her anymore. Start digging, she said. Where is it? Linda screeched. Where'd you bury it? Trout demanded. Kate Barlow died laughing. Yeah, it is so cool. Best way to end that. Oh, and it's the end of part one. We're going to start part two, the last hole. I hope you had fun with this chapter. I, I totally did, as you can probably tell. I hope the audio sounds warm and crisp and lovely. <laughs> no, I really do. We'll find out together. <laughs> All right, I'll see you for the next chapter in part two of the book. And uh, let's have some fun. Bye.